Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this applied NLP tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Facebook's No Language Left Behind NLLB model to do language translation. Especially, this is going to be called Advanced AI Translation because there was no model like this, especially for lower resources language. First, we are going to understand what Facebook is talking about no language left behind model. Then we are going to take a sneak peek into Hugging Face Model Hub. And then finally, we are going to use the model from Hugging Face Model Hub to do the language translation of languages that we want. To begin with, Facebook has put together a very nice landing page with a very nice promo about no language left behind. And you can see their pitch is driving inclusion through power of AI translation. And then if you see the details, it says that there is no model like this before. Like it's first of its kind model where the open source model delivers high quality translation directly between 200 languages, including this is the, this is the most important aspect for me as well. Low resources languages like Asturian, Luganda, Urdu and more. So these kind of languages did not have enough coverage or visibility in any of the previously available large model but uh, facebook thanks to facebook meta ai whatever it is called now we have got a very good model like at least when i tried it for my own language tamil i could see really quality high quality translation not ve not very much like machine translation it was almost like an experienced human translation but i'm not expert i'm not a linguist but i felt good when i read the translation you can read more about how facebook is using it what kind of applications they are envisioning using um no language left behind and you can also read more about how did they construct the data set and what did they do for training and how did they evaluate and all those details i'm not going to get into the details thankfully these models are available at least like as of today and yesterday these models are available on hugging face model hub what does it mean it means in just a couple of lines of python code you could use these models and you can see that these are available at the time of this recording, um, these models, even though these models are available on Hugging Face Model Hub, the model requires an NLLB tokenizer that was not available as part of the uh, production version of Transformers library. So what I'm using is a branch, NLLB branch, but maybe while you are watching this video at that time, it might have, the PR might have got merged. So you might not have to worry about it. So maybe, you know, it's, it's just just to just for you to know models are available here but this requires a special tokenizer which was not available in the production version of transformers library while i was recording this video so maybe while you are watching this it might not be the case but even if it is not the case i'm handling that i'll explain you how i handled it okay so now we are going to just quickly dive into the model page and you can see the model has got um, the inference api demo that you can try out and also it has got certain details like you know um, the model checkpoint like details and what is the license and what are the intended uses the uses here is the primary intended uses use use is um, language translation machine language translation for low resources language the um, out of scope use cases you know you shouldn't use it for production but what are the things that you can do those kind of things are available here also you can get some details about the evaluation data um, you know ethical consideration and all those things so this is good. Now what we are going to do now is we are going to directly jump into the Google Colab notebook and learn how to use the model just we saw, which is a 600, M, a 600 uh, million parameters distilled version. So when you click this NLLB, you can actually see that we have got, um, we have got four models. One is 1.3 billion parameter model. Second is 3.3 billion parameter model. The other one is distilled version of 1.3 billion and then you have got 600 million uh, distilled version. So these are the four models available. As far as I know, if you get the basic machine on Google Colab, you can try out only 600 million until you know you convert the, um, you, you do the CUDA floating point conversion. You cannot use anything more than 600 million. So if you want to use 1.3 billion distilled uh, version, I have got a separate video when we used Salesforce code gen, how do we do CUDA floating point conversion, you can do that and then still use 1.3 billion. But I don't think you can use any other model on the basic version of Colab um, until you get like a really good GPU machine by luck, which is not going to happen anytime soon. So we're going to use the basic version. So the first step on Google Colab is convert your Google Colab runtime to GPU runtime. So that will help you for faster inference. 
once you have the google collab notebook but like in your case you can just go to the youtube description just below the like button and then click this collab notebook and then start using the collab notebook but if you want to start fresh from scratch create a new collab notebook select the runtime gpu then install the latest version of transformers library and this is what i was just referring to if you see i am installing a particular branch of this transformers library from their github primarily because at the time of this recording this tokenizer nllb tokenizer was not available in the main branch so i'm doing it but you know you can like if you if you like if you know already that um, this this um, main version has got uh, the nllb transformers nllb tokenizer then you can simply do pip install transformers you don't have to directly install it from github but because i wanted to install that branch from nllb where it was already tested i'm i'm installing you know that particular branch that's why you would see slight difference between how we usually install in this one bottom line install the transformers library that works in my case the branch works so i have installed it from that the next step is you need to load three things the auto tokenizer auto model for uh, seek seek to seek lm um, language model and pipeline so i would quickly say why pipeline is required so the task that we are going to perform here is not your typical text generation task rather we are going to do translation hugging face has got this pipeline where you can select a particular nlp task and then you can easily use some set of defined predefined or pre pre built models pre trained models available so we are going to use a pipeline to select um, language translation as a task and then use this model once you have imported these three the next thing that you have to do is you have to download the model and the tokenizer and as you can see that i have selected the 600 million uh, model and uh, this is the path from the hugging face model hub so we have downloaded successfully the model and then the tokenizer and you can see that the model is uh, somewhere about you know close to 3 gigs after you do that now the next thing is you can select create a pipeline for translation and the model that you just downloaded and then the tokenizer and what is the source language and what is the target language and what is the maximum length sometimes you know what happens is in the source language the text could be very small in the target language text could be very big so it's just just to be conservative i've given a maximum length of 400 for the target like the result output now how do you know what is the source language code how do you know what is the target language code it's quite simple i would link this uh, flows 200 dataset link in the youtube description where you can go see the language code for example uh, if i want to for tamil i can go here and then search for tamil and i would know what is the code for tamil for example if i want to know what is it for malayalam so oh malayalam is not there okay malayalam is there so i know what is it for malayalam so i i can i can check all these things uh, like burmese is there marathi is there so i can check all these things on this page so for your language you can come here and then check what is the code that you want once you have defined the code which is um, like again the pipeline you have to create the pipeline what is a natural language processing nlp task that you want to do here or ml task that you want to do here what is the model that you want to use what is the tokenizer that you want to use which is what we just downloaded what is the source language what is the target language and what is the length maximum length once you define that you have got the pipeline set and once you have the pipeline then you can probably use like as a function translator and give the text that you want the text that i have selected is i've gone to the wikipedia page of a very recent tamil movie and what i've done is i've copied a line from that that says vikram enbadu 2000 like 2022 2022il veliyana indiya tamil moli parabarapootum adiradi therapadamagum it just means that an action movie action movie um, that's what it means but if i know the typical machine language translation would not say adiradi as action I, at least like from what i've known but uh, what i was um, what i was surprised to see is it translated really well like the sentence was really coherent it was not translating word to word vikram is a 2022 2022 indian tamil language action film so it has done a very good job here so now what i want to do is i want to pick a different one and then try for tamil language then we'll try like try a different one um for example now it uh, there is a page for uh, the the actor um, kamal hasan who is uh, who is a very popular tamil actor now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this okay and i'm going to copy this line and um, i'm going to paste this entire thing i'm not sure how efficiently it will work but uh, th th this is what i'm going to try 
Um, I'm going to remove the references here uh, that you usually see on Wikipedia and um, let's let's run it and then let's see what is going to happen. So at this point you can see that we are using the 600 um, million parameter model and then you can see how long it takes. I'm not editing this video so you know. So we have taken about like 7 seconds totally. Kamal Hassan born. Um, first let me read it in Tamil. So what does it say? It says Kamal Hassan, um, the person's name, Pirapu born um, 07 November 1954. He is a he is a very famous Indian movie actor and politician. He has also directed few movies. So he acts in a lot of different varieties of roles and he is known for acting in a lot of different varieties, diverse roles. So this is this is how I would translate it. Like I, I've, I've been speaking this language for more than 30 years. Now let's see what Facebook's no language left behind model has done. So the translated text, Kamal Hassan, born 7 November 1954. Good thing is it translated. This is a transliteration here, I would say. November in Tamil does not mean anything in English, but it managed to translate it. Oru Puhar um, is a popular Indian film actor and politician. Amazing, just like I said. He has directed a few films as well, I would say as well. He is widely known for his versatile role. Amazing. See, I didn't use the word versatile. I'm not a native English speaker. I use diverse, but I use different types of roles. But it has done a very, very good job of translation here. And I'm really, um, I'm, I'm really surprised to see such a, such a detailed high quality translation just like how a human um, linguist would do but but just like i said i'm not a linguist so i'm not evaluating the quality of language here but as as an end user it is amazing for me to see now what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask it to do tamil to english so i'm going to do it to english to tamil okay english latin okay let me copy this paste it and english latin okay so I'm going to rebuild my um, pipeline here. So you can see that my pipeline is built. It didn't even take more than a second. Now I'm going to give English text here and then I want it to translate. I want it to translate to uh, Tamil. Okay, so that's what that's what our objective is. So for that, uh, I don't need to go somewhere. I can give the text. Um, I can say one little coder is an amazing YouTube channel for learning data science. So uh, this is this is this is a this is a narcissistic advertisement for my own channel and you can see when when it knows that it is not a tamil word you can see that it is keeping one little code enbadu taravu arivial which is data science katru katrulukana or arpudamana katrulukana okay to learn or arpudamana youtube channel okay so it is translated it has done a very good job so next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to say um something like this um this ai this um i don't know i don't want to do a okay let's do it this ai model generate does uh, machine translation at a very sophisticated level oh my goodness i missed l for level okay let's do it um it's i'm uh, in the ai model i wouldn't say it is um um, it has done a very good job in this case, but but you can see that the the language is very coherent. The translation is really good, and um, I, and I would say it's it's a good job, much better than um, any other um, models that I've seen at least like uh, for Tamil language before. Finally, I'm going to do one thing. I want to try out transliteration. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here. Okay, Tamil and English. Um, I'm going to go here and then I'm going to Google transliterate 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 and I'm going to type something in um, I mean in India this is known as very much like um, um, it's called uh, like Tanglish they would say so it's like a combination of um, I mean it's 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 Tamil uh, but uh, typed in um, I, I mean I can try the same thing with English like as well right in um, I can say in the Mori Payerpu Mori Payerpu so this is basically I'm typing Tamil uh, but instead of typing in Tamil language I type it in English like this is quite common um, at least like in 
in the parts of the world where i come from because we don't want to open a tamil keyboard and then type we would do a lot of this thing so and people people would understand native language speaker so what i'm going to do now is i can use the same one right because I, my source language is my source language is english so i'm not changing it i'm just going to paste it here so this is basically transliteration i'm expecting it to do transliteration muslim makkal madhil so it didn't it didn't do a proper job so the transliteration part did not work properly at least i would say and uh, if i have to try it the other way the english the source language tamil and this one english so i would try the same thing now i would go here i would put tamil and i would say um this is a very good model and i'm going to get it but this time i'm pressing it in tamil and i'm going to see it i know i know they didn't mention anything about uh, transliteration um but uh, you know curiosity um, it always oh so the transliteration for a uh, tamil to english has actually worked very well you can see that this is a very good model it has actually the transliteration for tamil to english worked well but i don't know for some reason english to tamil did not work very well so this is this i mean this is this is something that they did not mention but i am surprised to see the transliteration also works really good so so bottom line um th- i'm i'm super impressed by this model and you can simply now try it on google collab notebook build a gradio model deploy it on hugging face build a streamlit application whatever you want to do you can do it um and this is this is super exciting so if you like this video please let me know in the comment section how you are using it what language you are using it so i think this is quite personal because um I don't know your language I don't know the nitty gritties of your language so I cannot try out in languages that I do not know so I would strongly encourage you to try out in the languages that you know that you speak you are a native speaker of and then share what your thoughts about this model in the YouTube description or Twitter or LinkedIn wherever you 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 get this message but otherwise I hope this video was helpful to you like I said the required resources links will be in the YouTube description please give a thumbs up if you want if you have not subscribed please subscribe take care have a nice day happy coding peace